Hi, I am Hibatallah Rashid and I am going to speak today about rippling muscle disease. Rippling muscle disease is a rare disorder of muscle hyperexcitability. It is characterized by muscle rippling, percussion-induced rapid muscle contraction, percussion-induced muscle mounding, and painful muscle stiffness. Percussion-induced rapid muscle contraction is the most consistent finding. On the other hand, percussion-induced muscle mounding is not specific for rippling muscle disease, and a similar phenomena can be seen in myodema in hypothyroidism. Here is a video showing a patient with rippling wave-like muscle contractions induced by muscle percussion. Usually, these involuntary muscle contractions are electrically silent on needle EMG. Rippling muscle disease can be hereditary or immune-mediated. Hereditary rippling muscle disease is caused by mutations in Cavillin-3 or Cavin-1 genes. The onset of Cavillin-3 rippling muscle disease is usually in a childhood or adulthood. It has a wide spectrum of clinical phenotypes, ranging from asymptomatic creatine kinase elevation to severe muscle weakness. Common clinical features are those of rippling muscle disease with or without mild proximal weakness, exercise-induced and or post-exertional myalgia, and calf muscle hypertrophy. Other phenotypes include distal myopathy, myoglobinuria, rhabdomyolysis, isolated hypersychemia, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, and long acuity syndrome and sudden infant death syndrome. Muscle cavulin-3 immunoreactivity is often absent or diffusely reduced in cavulin-3 rippling muscle disease, compared with a normal control as shown in this figure. Cavin-1 gene mutations result in congenital generalized lipodystrophy type 4, which is the hallmark of the disease, and it's often accompanied by several extraskeletal muscle manifestations. It usually presents in infancy or early childhood, with a progressive generalized loss of subcutaneous adipose tissue in multiple areas of the body. Congenital generalized lipodystrophy type 4 could be associated with muscular dystrophy, rippling muscle disease, and fatal long acuity syndrome. Electrically silent percussion-induced muscle mounding is a frequent muscle symptom, occurring in more than 50% of the reported cases. Cardiac involvement may be fatal, and severe arrhythmias can cause sudden cardiac death. Immune-mediated rippling muscle disease often manifests in late teens to late adulthood. Clinical features are similar to those of cavulin-3 rippling muscle disease. Muscle weakness when present is always proximal. Fatigue and myalgia are very common, and most patients respond to immunotherapy. Immune-mediated rippling muscle disease is often associated with other autoimmune disorders. To date, myasthenia gravis is the most common autoimmune disorder associated with immune-mediated rippling muscle disease. A paraneoplastic etiology was suggested after describing cases with coexisting tumors. Several autoantibodies have been reported, most of which are nonspecific. These include acetylcholine receptor autoantibodies without associated defect of neuromuscular transmission. And then cabin 4 antibodies were proven to be a specific serological marker for immune-mediated rippling muscle disease. This mosaic expression of cabulin 3 and cabin 4 immunoreactivity is the pathological feature of cabin 4 associated immune-mediated rippling muscle disease. Finally, here is a proposed algorithm to the approach of patients with suspected rippling muscle disease. 
If a patient presents with muscle rippling, percussion-induced rapid muscle contraction, with or without percussion-induced muscle mounding, which is not due to hypothyroidism, and EMG shows electrically silent muscle activity, then sequencing of cavulin 3 and cavin 1 genes should be the next step to look for hereditary rippling muscle disease. If gene sequencing was inconclusive, then proceed to muscle biopsy and Cavin-4 antibodies measurement. A mosaic Cavulin-3 and Cavin-4 immunoreactivity is suggestive of immune-mediated rippling muscle disease and should be treated with immunotherapy. In this case, please don't forget to test for myasthenia gravis. Normal, absent, or diffuse reduction in Cavulin-3 immunoreactivity requires additional gene tests. These are my references and thank you for watching Teachable Moments.